वेलकम बैक टू योर जोग्रफी क्लास प्रीवियसली वी स्टडीड अबाउट द फिजिकल एंड पॉलिटिकल डिविजन्स ऑफ यूरोप इन टूडे सेशन आई विल बी टीचिंग यू हाउ एंड वेर टू पॉइंट द डिफरेंट फिजिकल एंड पॉलिटिकल फीचर्स सच एज माउंटेन रेंजेस वाटर बॉडीज रिवर्स एंड फाइव चीफ सिटीज अकॉर्डिंग टू योर सिलेबस so let's get started with today's session this is the physical map of europe while this is the political map of europe this as you can see is a map of europe which we will be using to study map pointing so first on an outline map of europe mark and name the following water bodies for water bodies we will be using blue pencil color this map shows the water bodies associated with europe in the extreme north you can see we have the arctic ocean just above the entire european continent next we have the baltic sea the baltic sea is located between scandinavian highlands and the baltic states next we have the english channel which lies between the british isles and the european mainland Next we have the Strait of Gibraltar it is a narrow path of water that separates Europe from Africa Next we have the Black Sea which is an entirely land locked lake and last but not the least the most important water body of Europe the Mediterranean Sea So this map shows the water bodies of Europe color all the water bodies using blue pencil color Next on an outline map of Europe mark and name the following mountain ranges for mountain ranges we will be using brown pencil color this is the physical map of Europe that shows all the important mountain ranges all the important mountain ranges are being encircled in orange as you can see the first mountain range is the pyrenees mountain range that lies between spain and france second one that was marked was the alps they cover most of the southeastern states of europe then now that you are seeing is the apennines that are located along italy like almost the spine of italy next we have the caucasus mountains that lie between the black sea and the caspian sea and last one is the ural mountains that separate europe from asia now we will see an enlarged form of this map So here you can clearly see the Pyrenees that are located between Spain and France we have the Alps covering all the southeastern states then we have the Apennines along the spine of Italy then the Caucasus mountains that are there between Black Sea and Caspian Sea and the last the Ural mountains that are almost in between Asia and Europe dividing them into two continents you will be using brown pencil color to draw lines just as shown in this map the brown lines will depict the location of the mountain ranges next on an outline map of europe mark and name the following rivers all these rivers again will be marked with the help of blue pencil color this map deals with the important rivers of europe keep in mind that the arrows are pointing at the river starting with the longest river in europe we have volga that you can see right now next we will be dealing with the danube that falls into the black sea next we have the river rhine that flows into the north as you can see right now then next there is another river that flows into the south just below rhine that is called the rhone river Next we have a very small yet very famous river called river Seine it flows through Paris and the last river is river Thames that flows through London in England so all these six rivers are very important rivers of Europe and you are supposed to mark all these rivers with blue pencil color on an outline map of europe mark and name the following chief cities for this we will use black dots to pinpoint these places on the map this map deals with chief cities of different states of europe 
all these cities are to be marked in black dots and their respective names are to be written with them so first we will see moscow moscow is the capital of russia next we have rome rome is the capital of italy next we have another very important place called berlin berlin is the capital of germany next we have paris paris as you all know is the capital of france and then we have london london all of us know is the capital of england so all these are capitals of different states of europe they all have economic as well as tourist importance in the world all these are to be marked in your map with the help of black dots use either a black pencil color or a black pen with this we come to an end with the map pointing portion with reference to europe's physical and political features students can purchase and use the physical and political map from the nearest stationery store for their map work hope you have understood the portion taught make sure you complete your work neatly and have lots of fun with map pointing in the next class we shall meet again to deal with an entirely new chapter till then take care of yourself be safe and we shall meet soon